The other day I wanted to make a peach and cherry pie because it's summer and that's the sort of thing pie makers do this time of year. So I went looking for my cherry pitter, which I hadn't seen since probably last cherry season. I looked everywhere for that thing and when I realized it had been abducted, I went online and I started looking at some DIY YouTube videos about novel ways to pit cherries. Young people today call these helpful tips and tricks hacks. A little public service message there in case you're struggling to keep up with hipster language like me. Turns out the most popular DIY pitting option involves a plain narrow neck bottle and a chopstick. You put the cherry on the bottle, press down with the chopstick, and out pops the pit. At least that's the way it happens in all the videos. Only when I did it, my pits didn't actually pop out. They played hide and seek. I kept missing the pits, which really made me miss my actual cherry pitter. So I decided to improvise and try the He-Man version of the hack. And when that didn't work out so well, the if I had a hammer version. By the time I got all the pits out, a lot of my cherries looked like roadkill. In the end, what worked best for me was first making a tiny slit in the bottom of the cherry and then poking out the pit. I had about an 85% success rate that way, so I'm hoping that whoever took my cherry pitter returns it. Getting back to the pie in question, Bev and I drove out to our favorite produce stand, which is always a great way for a food writer to pretend he's working when he's really not. I feel like a kid on Christmas morning when I go to markets like this. I spaz out on all the gorgeous fruit and veggies and I load up my basket like I just won the lottery and have nothing else to do for the entire next week except putter in the kitchen. The peaches are fabulous right now, of course. I picked out half a dozen of the ripest ones I could find and a pint of deep red cherries. And when we got home, I made a crust, blanched and peeled the peaches, then mixed up the fruit, the cornstarch, sugar, lemon, etc. You can stop scribbling because I've included the recipe or the link to the recipe below this video. I added a top crust, crimped the edge with my big pastry fork, and painted the top with heavy cream. I like to dilute the heavy cream with a spoonful of water so the glaze isn't too thick and it glides on smoothly. Then I sugared and baked the pie about 50 minutes at 375 until it was golden brown and the juices were bubbly thick. We invited my sister Joanne and her husband Dean over for dinner so we had someone to share the pie with. I have to be extra nice to them because they grow blueberries and I don't so I gave them really big pieces. They like that and the ice cream didn't hurt either. Now I hope you'll go bake a pie too, maybe one just like this. If that scares you because you're afraid of the crust, please don't be. I have a couple of resources at the Pie Academy that will turn you into a real pie making dynamo my ebook, Pie Zero to Pie Hero, and my video course, the No More Tears Pie Pastry course. I hope you'll check them out because I think they'll really help. Take care.